So what is currently happening to Workhorse Group stock is absolutely insane. Just today alone, we are up almost 10% again, pulling up from the massive 80% recovery after initial spikes at the beginning of the year. So what we are going to do today is give you an insight into what is actually happening to Workhorse Group stock and break down exactly whether it is still a buy at the end. And as the analysis in the video is as always crucial to consider before buying the stock, make sure to stay tuned. Before we jump right in however, just hit that subscribe button down below. And as we'll keep you updated on breaking news and awesome trading opportunities every single day, subscribing would not only help us but also you. So there is really no excuse for not smashing the subscribe button, it's free, and you can always unsubscribe if you feel so. Alright, let's start talking about the stock. So Workhorse describes itself as the future of delivery. It uses delivery vans that are 100% electric, with a purpose-built design allowing for maximum cargo space and easy access for the driver. And as mentioned before, Workhorse's product line appears to be very attractive. Since highs in January, however, Workhorse Group stock has been on quite the downward trajectory up until now. But there are a few crucial things to consider for the prediction at the end that have also somewhat explained the new recovery. First, we of course have President Biden, who massively wants to electrify the federal fleet of 645,000 vehicles. While there's no timeline for doing so, Biden did ask for $300 million to begin electrifying the cars in a spending proposal. Biden also asked for $8 billion in Energy Department funding, a 27% increase over the current year, to advance clean energy research, a portion of which would go toward electric vehicles. But in regard to the current valuation, Workhorse is still a tiny player among some pretty large giants in the EV space. This however, could also provide the right kind of setup for long-term growth investors looking for value in this space right now. Taking a look at forward revenue estimates of $282 million in revenue for 2022, the stock trades at about five times sales. That's not that expensive for a growth play in the F sector with an e-commerce catalyst overlay. Additionally, Workhorse reportedly has a cash position of $215 million during its recent earnings release. There's some indication this cash should provide the short-term growth capital sufficient for the company's needs in the short term. Having a war chest is a good thing, and Workhorse doesn't look like it will need to raise capital in the near term. The company's recently reported earnings do show some revenue on the books, though not much. The company reported $1.4 million in revenue for 2020, though revenue is expected to ramp up significantly in the quarters to come. Workhorse is still figuring stuff out, and investors buying this stock aren't doing so on the basis of backward-looking results. That said, the fact this company is generating revenue is positive. As order flow increases alongside production, investors are hoping to ride this wave higher into 2022 and beyond. And as mentioned in a previous video, given this excitement and very likely future hype from retail traders, buying the stock could work out really well in the long term. This also explains the current start of attempting to get back to old highs, being up more than 120% now from the pullbacks from those. So to sum it all up, Workhorse focuses on providing the last mile of delivery in a way that's as environmentally friendly as possible. Given the surge in e-commerce and long-term growth prospects of this sector, investors are looking for ways to leverage the logistics and distribution surge that will follow. And with Workhorse's solid growth and cash position in mind, it might still be a good time to buy the stock, which also explains new bullish estimates from investors. Bear in mind, however, that the stock is very risky due to its massive volatility. Alright, with that being it for today's video, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video and want to support our mission of providing free financial information to everyone here on YouTube, please ensure you're subscribed and definitely consider leaving a like. As mentioned before, it really means the world to us. Thanks a lot and see you next time.